Hello my friends and welcome to Jagged Alliance 2 Classic! Ramgar sent me, after the Strocatella nonsense, uh, Ramgar sent me the Steam version of Jagged Alliance 2. I actually have the original version of Jagged Alliance 2. And the Steam version of Jagged Alliance 2 does actually work on Windows 10, which is... which is good. Oh, I can't seem to do anything right now. Let's try that again. There we go. So, um, yeah, and it just works. And the funny part is, is that you can actually tell that it's the original because Iron Man mode is not here. It's just unlimited time and and uh, limited time timed turns, which was a feature that they got. Uh, I guess modders didn't like it because they got rid of it. <laughs> I am so happy to play the original game because, you know, there's only so much, uh, basically, it's one of these funny things about Jagged Alliance 2 is that basically all the modders out there have pretty much done two things to this game. Make it harder or add a load of busy work to it kind of failed to realize that the game it was never it was never a realistic game as it were I mean it was realistic enough but um, you know it was an arcadey game and what they did was they just took all the arcadiness out of it and thus killed the fun a bit Now I'll be an automatic weapons expert again. Or ambidextrous. Alright. I can never remember what the... Uh, which, which were the right ones to choose. <laughs> Daytime, the unnecessary hazard. All right, hopefully I'm doing this right. <laughs> I love this questionnaire. If you if you get Jagged Alliance 2 off of Steam and you just play the classic game, be sure to just spend the time to fill this in truthfully. It is actually quite a funny, funny questionnaire. Don't don't try and game it to get the skills that you want. Just actually play it. Um, Poppy versus Godzilla. <laughs> okay. Software development has to be the correct answer for that. Yes, okay. So, same setup as I did in Strucatella. But yeah, it was really weird with Strucatella, like the... Um... So, in Jagged Alliance, the way the logic of Jagged Alliance 2 works is all the enemies on the map are actually persistent. What equipment they have, and as they wander around and all that kind of stuff, it's all persistent. And there are various places from which additional enemies spawn. Um, and it seemed to me like the moment that we... 
like Drassen was full of green shirts, which is weird because on expert mode you normally actually see a few red shirts there, although they've got terrible equipment. But then the moment we captured Drassen, it just seemed like all the enemies had really nice gear. Um, and we started seeing black shirts wandering the countryside as well, among other things. It, it was very odd. I am not expecting to see that same um, I'm not expecting to see that same problem this time around. Strength is actually not that difficult to raise. Um, it, amusingly, if you want a really good marksman right from the offset, you can set strength down to 35 and uh, put all your points in marksmanship and just carry a load of weight around and your strength will actually go up quite quickly. But nevertheless, marksmanship goes up even faster than strength, and all of these skills faster still, as long as you're doing them. So, there's no point. You want to put your points in things that are actually difficult to raise. Uh, once again, I've killed the music just because I can't be bothered with YouTube copyright nonsense over the music, so I've just decided... Time to not bother with it. Has time to take out the trash. Which is a shame. The, ga the game has great music, but um, it does get repetitive after a while. If you've played a lot of Jagged Alliance 2, you will actually be quite sick of the music because there isn't there isn't a lot of it. Although it is very good. All right, what did I get? Ambidextrous auto weapons. Sweet, I did it right. Right, let's take different characters this time, so I'm not going to take Nails, despite the fact that he's really good. The, the best thing about Nails is he's actually a pretty good marksman. He's also very strong. His wisdom is also good, and his mechanical and explosive is also very good as well, and can be raised quickly. So he's just generally all around good. But you do eventually have to get rid of him anyway because uh, of his obsession over the stupid jacket of his. Right, let's go with... I always take Igor, because he's amazing. This is Igor Dolvich. Eventually. What kind amazing. of contract do you require? The gear he comes with is actually total garbage. I said you only pay like 460 bucks for it. I heartily endorse this contract. Right. Let's take Fox. The this Fox time. is listening. Okay, I imagine you'll want to get maximum value and go long term. I'll get my things together and I'll be there as soon as possible. So, I don't think she's like the greatest character on Earth, but she has a very good medical skill for early on. And she has a hundred dexterity, which means that she can become an amazing marksman very quickly. Still, steroid... This is the Arnold Schwarzenegger knockoff. This is Steroid Gontarski speaking. How <laughs> long you want me? Uh, he's so annoying. <laughs> he refuses to submit to urine testing. What a surprise. His agility and dexterity are totally awful. You know, Hitman is not very good, but I actually... Well... He's got a lot of experience and good marksmanship, although his dexterity is poor. Um, but I just liked him from the from the old from the old game. All right, let's grab Wolf. Wolf is just actually an all-round good character, and he is like a less decent Nails. He has some mechanical skill, just like Nails, and he has some explosive skill, like Nails. Neither of which are quite as good as Nails. But unlike Nails, he will actually wear proper armor. And his uh, general stats are actually pretty decent. Wolf here. What kind of time frame do you have in mind? All oh, right, and that is us. Spent. We crushed the rebels in Omerta. How can it be? Talk about 
flying in low. I had to look up to see the squirrels. I'm sure glad to have my feet planted firmly on the ground. Now, which way did the rebel hide out? All right, fools in the sector. Get ready. They're here. Yes. Fox is Don't actually a little it. bit annoying. <laughs> okay. Okay. Whoa, why is everybody going backwards? Damn it. I did not press the alt key. Ah, yes. Yes, I got it. To it. I said... do not like sound of whatever uh -huh. that sound was. Oh. Enemies in sight. This means war. Well. I could knife him, or I could just shoot him in the head. The enemy is caught. You called? You called down the thunder. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay. Position is good. Yes. You called? Agility 85. That's actually not bad. Ah! I want to be on this side of the door in case the door opens. Ah, it is like our work is unfinished. Our enemies <laughs> take cover under carpet. Ooh. Get ready. They're here. Interrupt him. What did ah. I hear? Oh, you ran out of action points anyway. Now, one funny thing is, like, this early on in the game... You called? You could realistically, uh... punch people to death for them sweet experience points beauty cuz they haven't got much health ah. this is actually the correct difficulty now as in these red shirts have all got like 30 40 hp instead of you know 80 70 80 You called? Shh! Noise! You called? What did I hear? Boy. You called? That was close. Uh, yeah, probably not. Ah! Very hard to hit from this range. What the drag? Oh, there was a guy there. Do I shoot him? Two H I need two action points to get where I need to be. Nice. You called? Yes. Yes. Talk about flying in low. I had to look up to see the airframe. I'm on it. Everybody was a kung fu fighting. <laughs> Show me the experience points. 
Funny part is, I can't actually see the skills growing, because that was a mod as well. There, there, there were some obvious mods in uh, Strucatella. Um, the one that showed you your experience point growth was actually quite nice, but uh, not at the cost of facing enemies that progress too quickly. Like, way too quickly. What did I hear? Uh-oh. Yeah, oh. it could have been bad. But I got me some kick-ass karma. Yes? See, even on expert mode, what the early that? enemies are total garbage. But this was not true in Strucatella. They were actually pretty dangerous. Wonk. Uh-huh. Yeah, that could have been bad. I'm on it. I'll get him next time. I don't think you can shoot ah. through that boarded up window. You called? You got a shot. Oh, crawl away from the edge. I need this boy to come closer. You called? Yes. Tagged ya! What is that? Jesus K. Rice. That was harsh. Punch to death. Uh -huh. Ah. <laughs> oh, nice shot. That was not what I expected to happen, but uh -huh. it happened. Can I shoot through this window? I can. Excelente. <laughs> Gotta love it. <laughs> Wolf will not miss. You will not miss a shot like that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Huh. Ah. Yes. Ah. Yes. It's like our work is unfinished. Our enemies take cover under carpet. I wish there was a way to reload without actually having to go into the inventory and reload. Ah! I mean, I know if your weapon is totally empty, you can reload. You called? But topping up is, uh... Uh-huh. A manual process, it would seem. You called? Yes. Right, now usually the last guy uh -huh. yeah, I'm on it. is like over here somewhere. You called? I'm into it. Let's see if this guy had anything on him. Nope. Nope, he did not. Will do. Yes. 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 I'm into it. You yes. just gotta be careful because it's always the last guy that actually hurts you. If you're not I'm careful. Into it. Okay. I'm into it. I'm into it. She is actually really you quite, quite annoying. <laughs> I'm into it. Oh, yes, yes, I'm on it. Let's keep you two, uh... Yes. Uh -huh. okay. Necessary conversation only. I'm okay. on it. No. Oof. Enemies in sight. This means war. Yes. Damn, he was waiting there like that. Ah! Good! Uh huh. You rotter, I'm gonna kick your ass. Okay. Yes? I'm on it! Let's go, team. 
shouldn't notice me sneaking through the building. Yes. I'm on it. Yes. Yes. Shh. Noise. Oh, I've interrupted him, but I actually have no. Yes. He's got a rifle. Ah! Who gave this boy a rifle so early on? And why isn't it mine? How much strength have you got? 82. Sounds good to me. Give what me your gun. Drake? Type 85. Oh, I wouldn't mind that. Oh, there is actually a bug with stealing weapons in the original game. I should have saved before I did it. Okay, it recovered. Sweet. Occasionally, it locks up. So I had better actually save. There was a bug with the, with the original Jagged Alliance when uh -huh. you tried to steal a weapon. And most people didn't even know that you could steal weapons in this game. Um, it could, uh, it could cause the game to freeze. Crap! Ah, he stole it! It's on the floor. He stole it, but he couldn't keep it in his hands. The Type 85 is actually garbage weapon, but it's better than a pistol by miles. <laughs> oh. Kung Fu fighting. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh yeah, ah. fast as lightning. Yes. <laughs> it was a little bit meta. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah. Ah. Yes. Oh. Oh. Thanks for the weapon. Yeah. See you in the what next is life. that? That's all of them. Nothing left but funerals here. <laughs> he dropped another 85. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a that's a quirky little bug in the uh, in the base game. <laughs> so I got two of them. Sweet. What a start. You couldn't really ask for a better start. I mean, don't get me wrong. This weapon is total. Total garbage as far as rifles go, but it is still a proper rifle. It is still properly capable. Why use a knife when you can just beat people to death with your fists? Three five seven. Can't remember what's chambered in three five seven in this game. But you know what? I'll just keep it with me just in case. Right, let's yes. go and hand the letter to Atima. Okay. What is that? Oh, can't do it. Yes. Got it. Yes. Oh, okay. Actually, very useful if you get stun grenaded. Um, on it. Your only hope for survival if you take a stun grenade is a canteen. On it. Um, on it. Okay. 
Man, I'm really happy to get these these rifles early on. Because I'm not okay. expecting uh, enemies to actually progress weapon-wise until at least I've captured a couple of towns. Ah. Speaking of which... Uh-huh. Nope. Yes? I was wondering if anyone in my team had uh, good leadership, but Who they are you? What is this? Hmm... We had given up very well then. Follow me. Follow yes. me, Fox. I'm on it. I'm okay. on it. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh yes. Uh -huh. Okay. I'm on it. Done. Okay. Done. Okay. If you make a mistake, Fatima, you will die with them. Okay. Oh. Kind of a little bit awkward to uh, select the next region. Yes, uh -oh. I'm, I'm on it. it. I'm okay. on it. Uh -oh. Yes. I'm on it. 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 Seventy five percent status. Easy to repair, sweet. Yes, I'm on it. I'm on it. That's useful. Ah, yes. Ah. Yes. Why have you brought them here? Have you lost your mind, woman? They have been sent. In respect of your husband. All right. Do not move, Fatimas. Enrico has. Enrico. More suspicious. All right. We've all seen this before, I'm sure. I do not. Here. Hmm, it be true. Enrico has sent on behalf of- She is evil. That will do, Ira. I am sure our friends of- Thank you. No Dolvich has disappointed. We will toast to days to come. Ah, when we locate vodka. <laughs> I have lost over 30 men in the last month. The people of getting their confidence. We are missing soldiers and equipment. We are short of Futum. Yes, if you can remove find him. Find him. I have faith. Tell him no more it than you need to. It does not seem right at this moment. I can spare I. All right. I'm Ira. I came to a room. Miguel's rebel. All right. I'm afraid my marksman. Okay. You got my ear. Ah, sweet relief. Uh-huh. Hmm. Hmm. Got it. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Take okay. it all. Oh, yes, I got it. it. Okay. I'm on it. All right, sweet. Let's go. Now, yes. since the original Dragon Alliance doesn't actually have Iron Mode, I can just actually save before the fight. Um, instead of having to do weird stuff where I save before I travel and stuff in case I get into a fight, I can actually keep good episode lengths and not actually worry about, you know, when to stop, as it were. Invaluable, eh? In other words, we're not going to lose progress. Meanwhile, earlier we crushed those rebels this in a matter. This better be good. 
Forgive the intrusion. Posh, posh. Elliot, you idiot! We crushed those rebels in Omerta! How can it be? <laughs> From what we have learned, Your Majesty... Commando types? They may be higher... What? How would the rebels get the means to recruit mercenaries? Well, no matter. Uh, um, oh, that send my us! Yes, Your High. Yes, your lowness. Oh, we didn't find the wire cutters. Ah, attacking the airport might be problematic without wire cutters. <clears throat> I could just blow a hole in the fence with the TNT, though. To be fair. To be fair, I could just blow a hole in the fence, the TNT, which I'm sure would be quite entertaining. Get ready, they're here. Dun 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 dun. dun. Okay, yes. Oh. I think there's a way to pause. Oh, yeah, you can pause. Sweet. Well, that's it for now. Um, I'm going to try and keep these to within half an hour to 45 minutes as per standard episode length, as opposed to letting them all drift to an hour long. Um, but yeah, next time I'll clean out these enemies in this sector, and then we'll push on to Drassen and take that too. Um, I forgot about the wire cutters in my rush to get playing. So, the airport is going to be a little bit more tricky. But, I did find two quite nice rifles. So, maybe the airport won't be so tricky. Um, <clears throat> one good thing is that Wolf actually comes with a toolkit. So, I can't repair them. And Ira, um, it actually unpauses the game to do stuff like this. Funnily enough. Uh, Ira comes with a, with a med kit. So, um, uh, Fox has obviously got a med kit, but I can also put a med kit on uh, whoever's injured and put them to doctor. It's actually a slightly improved way to heal up injuries. Plus, you want to, uh, you want to actually build up your medical skill on all of your mercs. That's uh, actually pretty important that you build up your medical skill on all of your mercs over time. <clears throat> because eventually, you want everybody to have a med kit. And then when your characters are injured at the end of a fight, you just set everybody to doctor. And everyone gets healed up very, very quickly that way. You'll, you'll reach a point in the mid to late game where... You could have taken wounds across all of your characters and you set them all to Doctor and about three or four hours later they're all fully healed. <clears throat> so it is worth doing that, but you know, that's a long, long term consideration. But yeah, no, I'm very happy to actually be playing the original, the original game with the original balance. Um, and it's great fun to play on expert mode. It's just, it's not... Um, I don't know, it's a lot of the modded versions are just really ridiculously difficult, and a lot of that difficulty has been achieved by amping up the enemies early on, like really early on as much as possible, so there's not a difficulty curve so much as a difficulty cliff. So yeah. Yeah, thanks again to Ramgar for, for buying the Steam version of Jagged Alliance 2 for me so I can play the original, and I actually look very much forward to making a proper campaign of this. That is it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.